Hello friends, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be dyeing my hair black and I'm also going to be sizing up on my gauges but um, yeah, as you can see I have some green in my hair um, truthfully. It was really cute at first. I had the two little green strips and then um, something told me add more green. So I attempted to add more green and it just did not dye correctly. Um, and then it just made me just, I'm kind of just over the whole entire thing. So I'm going to dye my hair black. I've dyed my hair black before. Oh my gosh, this. Yes, yeah, bring it back to the deep side parts. Oh, I have paint in my hair, by the way. I was painting, I was painting my ceiling and yeah, I got paint in my hair. But yeah, we're going to get started. This looks, oh my God. I'm going to take down my hair so you can kind of see the green situation that we're working with. So originally... I had just these green stri stripes, green strips on the side here. Um, and then I saw a TikTok and I was like, oh my God, I want to do that. The girl on the TikTok pretty much had something like this um, where it was just like all the front was just lime green and her hair was like a, a brownish color. And I was like, that looks so sick. I want to do that. Um, and I kind of just went wild with it like i i bleached random pieces i try to get it as even as i could which isn't even <laughs> that's not even uh yeah let's not talk about that anyways um this is just a no especially any type of updo no no i don't know if i mentioned this already but i've dyed my hair black before so i'm just using the same exact hair dye this is the revlon color silk hair color in soft black i am going for a more natural black uh, i was gonna do jet black and then i was just like mm, i feel like that might wash me out a little bit so sticking to a more natural black and i will be dyeing the whole head so i have two boxes because i have a lot of hair and we gotta make sure we get it off but yeah um my hair looks pretty damn close to this color but i promise you it's not like it's really not i've actually heard there's no such thing as black hair like natural black hair um or like that jet black you know that really dark black hair um that i guess people who have really really dark looking hair like me for instance it's actually just like a really really dark brown because when i go into the sun my hair has like a warm tone to it so you could tell that it's not black but obviously in most lights it looks black but it's not what an illusion okay i'm realizing i'm gonna have to change my shirt um because this is lewis's sweater and he will hate me if i get dye on it so i'm just gonna brush through my hair just so there's no tangles and this is a nice and easy hair dyeing process and i actually don't have gloves but normally hair dye kits come with gloves I'm not mistaken. Yes, thank you. Okay, so this is everything that comes in the box. This is the after color conditioner. I believe this bottle has the developer and then this is the actual dye. So all I really have to do for right now is pour the dye into the developer bottle. Give that a little shaky shaky and snip off the tip and get straight to work. Okay, got my dye in the developer bottle and I'm just gonna shake that up. And then I'm gonna set that to the side and then part my hair. So I'm gonna pretty much do like, I'm gonna go up like that, just at the bottom and work my way up, um, just cause it's easiest. And I'm just gonna start going in, going in and taking pieces. And normally, well, I say normally, like I do this often, I really don't. The last time I did my hair, I think I just kind of went in and was just rubbing it in. So I was actually planning on like just throwing background music over this and speeding through this part. But I kind of want to share with you my hair plans for the future. I kind of want to cut my hair. Well, okay. I want to layer my hair. I want like a shag, but not a shag. If that makes any type of sense. Because the thought of having an actual like shag haircut I fuck with, but the like styling it and just trying to make it look good all the time because certain hairs like haircuts don't always look good. 
just like that. You know, you have to style it to make it look good. And I feel like with that type of haircut, I, I think that's gonna be the issue. So I'm like, if I could just maybe cut my bangs a little bit, I don't know, do something like that. I need to feel something, that's what it is. I just, I need to do something. You know, sometimes we just get bored of our look and it's like, all right, what's next? And for a long period of time, I used to be super indecisive when it came to like changing something about myself. And then I would end up like sitting on it and contemplating it for too long and then kind of just talk myself out of it. But I I don't want to do that anymore. You know, I, I don't want to talk myself out of doing the things that I want to do, even though, even if it's something as simple as dyeing my hair. So actually, I'm going to take this rug out. I'm also going to go in with a comb and just like comb through the hair that I applied dye because I want to make sure that I get all of that green. I do not want to have any green and have to re-dye it or anything like that. So, Okay, so I think I'm going to do what I said I was going to do and just speed through this part because I kind of want to play some music. Um, but I did get two boxes, so I should get through my entire head with these two boxes. Um, and then I'll be right back to show you how everything looks. Okay, we are good to go. Um, I went ahead and combed through my hair just to make sure that like all of the dye was evenly distributed. Now, actually the dye has low key been sitting in my hair for about 25 minutes. And okay, so it actually says to leave it on your hair for a total of 25 minutes. Um, but with certain hair colors, you can leave it on an additional 20. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it on for another 15 or 20 minutes or so. That'll be about 40 minutes in total. Um, just because I want to make sure that the color sticks because I just want that green. I want that green covered. I really do. So um, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the bathroom because... Let me just show you this young mess. This is what my sink's looking like. Luckily, this is like easily cleanable with bleach. I already cleaned up the floor. It was literally like all over the floor. There was drops everywhere and on the tub. I got some dye on my face and on my forehead and on my damn shirt. I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. Putting one of like my favorite crop tops underneath the shirt that I was using to bleach or to dye my hair, not realizing that it would still touch so i just ruined one of my favorite t-shirts and i also got it all over my arms and wrists but i think that'll come off in the shower if not it'll come off you know eventually in a few days after a few showers but okay i'm gonna let this sit we go eat a snack and clean up I was gonna take a shower because I have dye on my ears um, and I wanted a shower before I sized up on my gauges but I am currently washing a load of towels right now so I think I'm just gonna wait until later if not I'll just continue tomorrow because it really doesn't matter but yeah okay friends so I am fresh out of the shower I tried to clean my ears as much as I could. There's still some dye on them. Oh my god, excuse my voice. But um, actually, one of my gauges fell out in the shower, so I had no choice but to do, like, but to size up tonight because I was actually a little tired. Oh my goodness, I don't know if that's why my voice is this way, but um, I was getting a little tired and I wasn't gonna do it tonight, but. Here we are. Anyways, as always, I am using the same sizing kit that I've been using, which actually I don't recommend um, this specific kit just because, I mean, it gets the job done, but I just feel like the, um, the gauges themselves don't last very long. Like mine, the backings come off often and they fall out often, so it's just, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, I just got it because it's, 
it was affordable and I mean I thought I would get the job done but I've had gauges fall out many times with this kit so wouldn't recommend it my hands are clean I'm gonna go in with some jojoba oil and dab some of that on my earlobe ears are nice and looped up I got the two gauge little kit here it comes with the tapers and then the gauges uh the last okay so I didn't get to show this because you know I took them out but the last size that I had I had one gauge and one taper just because one of my gauges fell out and I lost it so I had to I had like literally no choice but to use the taper which I don't love using um but yeah that's what I mean when I say like this kit is not the greatest gonna zoom you in a little bit just so you can see looping up the taper I don't know why I was about to go right in with the gauge uh again your girl is sleepy so taking the taper gonna push that in slowly okay so both of the tapers are in I am going to go ahead and go in with the gauge. <laughs> I'm on FaceTime and she's just talking to herself. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay, so the tapers are in. Zooming you back in. I'm going to take the gauge and just place it. And place that right where the end of the taper is and just push and boom voila boom good to go now to do the same thing on the other side okay friends I'm back it is the next day and I went ahead and added some curls to my hair just to see how it looked styled. Um, I'm actually about to go to the gym, but I did my makeup and did my hair for this. But I'm in love with the black. Like, it looks really, really good. I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was over here talking to my ass saying like, oh, there's a noticeable difference. Um, there is, but as like I was dyeing my hair, I was like, can you imagine there's not gonna be any, any difference at all? But you could definitely tell my hair is black now. Like, you can really just see how dark it is, um, which I love. I'm obsessed with. My cousin was like, it's giving winter. It's giving mysterious. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. I really liked my brown strips, even my green strips, but just like the color strips in general, I loved. That was a cute little phase. Um, but something about having just like solid, solid black hair. It's giving. It's giving everything it needs to give. Um... And it's for me. It's, this is me. We had fun, but the show's over. Speaking of the show being over, I don't know how to properly end this video. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the randomness. Um, I had zero intention on dyeing my hair black this week. It just kind of happened. As always, if you guys want to be friends outside of YouTube, you know where to find me. Everything will be up here and in the description box as well. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great holiday season. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!